in sickness or disease or in poverty. I will not die in our church in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The son of the living God. My doors are opening. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Let me explain some more things. Man was the only creature that was in the likeness and the image of God to reflect the absolute totality of the divinity of deity. In other words, God made himself in us. Religion is a bad thing. We're going to wipe out all the religion. Some of the girls didn't want it. Oh, the wind oh, of the Holy Spirit. Oh, oh, oh. Do you know what winnowing is? Oh, oh, oh. You direct it towards the direction of the wind. Oh, oh, oh. And only the stuff remains. Nah. But the chaff is blown away. So that wind is going to remove the chaff. Oh, oh. And only that which is of God will remain. Are we together? God made us in his likeness and image. The book of Genesis. You read the entirety of chapter 2. You'll find that. Okay. I want you to listen to me. References will go later. Because when you listen to me, you will, it will, but if you're distracted a little bit, but if you listen, intently, intently, with unbroken focus, when Jesus was teaching, uh, people are moving here then. They listen to the word. Kindly. When they listen to the word, their faith now was ready to receive the miracles. The miracles became automatic because the word now has settled. The word gives you the understanding. Because I understand. I'm not supposed to be this. I'm supposed to be this. I'm not supposed to compromise here. This is my portion here. Okay? But when you're ignorant, you don't know what belongs to you and what doesn't belong to you. Everything is either okay or everything is bad. But when you have the understanding, now I know. Fantastic. Glorious Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, when God picked up the clay piece, which we call the cosmic dust, because the word Adama means red soil, when he picked, when he picked up this and molded it into shape, uh, uh, um, and, and breath unto him the breath of life. This 
piece of clay was transformed in from a useless mold of clay. Our lives are completely useless until the breath of God is in us. What is the breath of God is in us? You see, it was just a piece of clay. The image was there. But there was no life in the image. It was a mere statue. But when God inhaled his own breath and expand his breath into a piece of clay, life came to a piece of clay. That is the breath of God. That is the spirit of God. That is the, that ruach, the breeze, the wind, the, the spirit of God. Amen. Praise God. Give life to a piece of clay. And a piece of clay became a reflection of the image and the likeness of God. Like. Now he can think like God. He can talk like God. He can act like God. He can do everything on behalf of God. And now God says, now I give you authority and power and have dominion over the fowls of the air, over the fish of the seas, over the animals, the quadrupedals and the bipedals, means the ones that you know slide, the ones that jump two feet and four feet, all of them have a dominion, have authority over everything I have created. Everything. But you can't have dominion and authority without the help of that breath that was breathed unto us. Outside of the breath, everything is very tough and difficult. So you see people, oh, life is very hard. Ah, motor is very difficult. Oh, life is very, very hard. That is a carnal man. Because the carnal man is limited. You will not be able to do what you can do in your own ability. But with the breath of God, ah, you begin to see everything possible. I can do all things through Christ. Who strengthens me. All things are possible. Nothing is impossible with God. Greater is He that is inside of me than He that is in the world. People that began a good work in my life is able to keep it and do it until the day of the Lord. Glory be to God. Now, because of He that is in me, He is able to do exceeding abundantly. Apparently, 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 or imagine according to His power and ability that worked inside of me. Oh my God, I'm loving this part. He is able to do exceeding abundantly, infinitely. That means this. Let's, let's bring this home, man. That means to the highest I can imagine. To the highest I can think. To the highest I can praise and even pray. To the highest, highest, highest. After that, God is still able to do exceedingly. That's why it is important to pray in the Holy Ghost. Because when you, when you pray in the natural, you are limited. You are limited. But when you pray in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit knows the mind of God. And He brings that which is in the mind of God. And He puts it in your mind. And then He begins to fulfill your desires. And the desires of God as far superior and higher and more better than your desires. God will push it up. Refine it. And then give them to you. <laughs> oh my God. Delight thyself there for in the Lord. Delight thyself there for in the Lord. I am making a dinner again. I am making a dinner again. 
Be cheerful before God. Be happy. Be excited. You know, you know, you know everything to me, Lord. There is none like unto thee. You are God besides thee. There is none. You are sovereign. You are omnipotent. You are all powerful. You are omniscient. You are all wise. Oh, you are all knowing. You are omnipresent. You are everywhere, every time. There is absolutely none like unto thee. I worship you in the tent. I worship you in the tree. I worship in the Toyota. I worship in the Range Rover. I worship in the King's Shack. I worship in the Palace. I worship by the roadside. I worship in Jehovah God. There is none like unto thee. I thank you, Father. I bless your name. I praise you, O God. There is absolutely none like unto thee. O God, I praise you. I bless you. I magnify you. I told you we are going to be correcting a lot of things hallelujah, hallelujah. now we know it's our desires that it fulfills isn't it but your desires are nothing before God are nothing When you delight yourself in the Lord, okay. He shall put His desires in your heart. Never Then He shall fulfill His desires in your heart. Why wow, you miss a place to give Him thanks and praise? Amen. Oh shalom. Oh hallelujah. 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 Do you know the closer you are with the Lord? The more the Lord begins to put his desire. The Lord begins to open your eyes. The Lord begins to change. Things. You used to think this is the right thing. Then you discover this is better. You think maybe this is the way. Then you discover this is the way. God now begins to fulfill his own desires in your life. He begins to open his plans for you and to share his secrets with you and open up the blueprint of your life to your life because of his spirit now beginning to work in your life. And then his ability and his power begin to fulfill his desires in your life because it is not by power, it is not by might, but by my spirit. Amen. Glory be to God. Now this scripture begins to be fulfilled to as many as are led by the Spirit of God. They are the mature sons of God. Living in glory. Living in power. Living in the promises. Life in the Spirit. Now you get it? You get the application of the scripture now? You get the application of this? Now because you were one with him, he opens up his plans for you. You begin to fulfill his plans in your life. The will of God. Begin to prosper according to his good place in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now let me tell you something. Nothing is as fulfilling as living in the will of God. And nothing is is and fulfilling as living outside the will of God. Are we together? Yes. Okay, now let's come to Jesus. Then I finish up with Apostle Paul. Jesus. Jesus. 
He's our foundation. No, I'm a big kid. Then will come the apostle Paul. No, I apostle Paul. I must emphasize on Jesus. Then I could go to the because he's the author. Let us know what we're doing. I'm a finisher. Now we're here. Of his faith. Then what? What we take you back here? In us. Then you will. That's why Paul said, "The faith I live in is no longer the, my faith." Is the faith of the Son of God. Oh my God. I don't know. I need to get a parachute here and just fly a little bit and come back. I no longer live in my faith, but I live in the faith of the Son of God. That's why even when he was stoned, it was nothing to him. Even when he was being stoned, it was nothing to him. When he was in prison, prison. That's not matter anymore to you. Because now you are a mature son of God, led by the Spirit. You are a mature son of God, led by the Spirit. You are a mature son of God, led by the Spirit. The Spirit of God now is preserving you and loving you. I will talk for you. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Now Jesus, Lord Jesus, begins his ministry. I can't just forget our work. Let me skip his bath, his vicarious bath, okay? Like I mean, I mean, Korea his, his, his virgin bath and his vicarious suffering. Let's skip that. Like I told you, the first, first miracle, Kemakebele. public, not miracle in his life. The first recorded public miracle was the wedding in Cana of Galilee. The first Miracle he performed in public that is recorded. Because he has many miracles that are not recorded in the scriptures. If everything about Jesus was to be written, not all the libraries of the earth would contain the miracles. Amen. Because Jesus, Jesus. He was a miracle walk, walk, walking, a miracle walking. Miracles were just happening. I'm going to come to that. So the first miracle that is public uh, recorded is in Cana of Galilee. Is it recorded in your Bible? Where is it recorded in your Bible? Do you want to talk to me? Do you want to talk to me? Okay. Very good. Jesus Jesus comes to Ghana. Okay, okay. I mean, I mean to Ghana. Ghana. It's called Ghana of Galilee because there was another Ghana. Cool. There, there are two Ghanas. So Ghana of Galilee. Ghana Galilee. Okay. Ghana okay. of Galilee. Galilee because there's another Ghana. Kwan Ghana again. So when Jesus arrives there, just walk in your home. He sits. Are you And the mother. Na mamu wao. You know the mother told him something to do something, isn't it? Just okay, mother. Please do something. Okay, my mother. Mother, okay, my mother. No, no, my time has already come. Okay, my mother, I call it Kenya. Woman, my time has already come. Mother, I call it Kenya. Kana of Galilee. Kana of Galilee. Don't record too long. Just few minutes, few minutes, few minutes, and pictures. The memory will 